Hey guys, it's Walt K4OGO. You know, summer's coming here in the Northern Hemisphere and Solar Cycle 25 is on the rise. So I thought I'd share with you guys um, some antennas that I like to build at the beach. I know some of you guys may be headed to the beach this summer uh, for vacation and taking a radio with you. And for people that don't live at the beach and, and not there all the time, I thought I'd share some of the experiences I've had at the beach. These are primarily vertical antennas, although I do have a magnetic loop in there. but Primarily small space vertical antennas that you could pop up in about five minutes at the beach. And I say vertical because, listen, there's a saying in radio that horizontal by land, vertical by sea. You're on top of the greatest ground plane in the world. So uh, here, let's check out a few antennas I like to build. Get ready. Stick around. One of my favorite antennas to build is a simple quarter wave vertical for 20 meters. 20 meters is such a great band for DX. And I build mine basically with just 16 gauge speaker wire and a banana clip. I also use a 17 foot telescopic fishing pole. And I got a rod holder that I drive in the sand. These things you can pick up at any fishing tackle shop. I've even got mine at Walmart for about five bucks a piece. This antenna is pretty simple and I usually just cut the wire to 16 foot 5 inches and four counterpoise wires the same length and spread them out as close to the water as I can. An alternative to the counterpoise wires is one single wire and it doesn't matter the length of that. What I use is a bare grounding strap with a uh, fishing sinker on it and just go straight out into the water. Once you get that wire or bare copper into the water, you've created the great grounding ground plane there by the salt water, the salt water amplifier. Another quick and easy vertical using the 17 foot pole is the QRP guys tri-band vertical. This will give you 40, 30, and 20 meters. I built this antenna in Hawaii and actually got there and couldn't find a rod holder. So I bought a paint stick, drove it in the ground and used a little duct tape. With this, you put the wire, the vertical wire, 16 foot four in the air and you add four 10 foot long counterpoise wires. I had some great success with this. Even had a QSO down to New Zealand of nearly 5,000 miles. A fun antenna to build is a slinky antenna. I built a vertical using a giant slinky and the QRP guys nine to one unun. You can use any nine to one unun with this. And what I did was I had it vertical on the 17 foot pole. And I, on this one, I used the, the four 16 and a half foot counterpoise wires as a ground plane. And this was uh, pretty successful. I had quite a few contacts with this antenna. Moving on from the 17 foot pole, I have a wonderful 10 meter DX Commander vertical pole that I use to make some bigger and better antennas. With that, I've also constructed a what I call a sand spike. I took a two inch piece of PVC pipe that I drive in the sand, use a reducer up to a three inch piece of pipe. These are both two foot long each, and I use this to support the antenna without any guide wires. Moving up to the bigger antennas, I built a vertical Infed half wave. This is a infed half wave for 20 meters built with a half wavelength of 20 meters in the general portion of the band. And then I use a very small counterpoise. This counterpoise is just 5% of the total wavelength at, of 20 meters at, at the area I was trying it for. I had some amazing contacts with this, and it also worked well on 17, 15, and 12 using my radio's internal ATU. Another great antenna to build with the 10-meter pole is a random wire vertical using a 9-to-1 un-un. Boy, did I have some success with this, but it did require the internal ATU of my radio to do this. But with this antenna set up, I basically did a 29-foot vertical length on the vertical wire. As we know, a random wire is really not random. you got to hit a non-resident point to make it successful. And I used a 17-foot long counterpoise, just one singer counterpoise on this antenna. A couple tips if you're going to build this antenna or any of these with the uh, bigger pole and using the sand spike is get a pool noodle and cut it short six, seven inches, split it and wrap it around. It'll secure the antenna inside the, uh, the pipe. Another thing is with counterpoise wires to keep them secure because of the surf, what I usually do is 
tie a weight, a, a fishing weight at the end, and then I, I brussel out, you know, kind of expose the end of the copper so it will connect with the salt water. Moving on to something a little smaller, hamstick antennas are great on the beach. What I do with mine is I have a mount that I have attached to a copper ground rod, and I just mount the hamstick right on that and go. MFJ makes a complete kit for this. If you're interested, you can go to the MFJ site and check it out. What I do for there, for attaching the counterpoise wires, I just clip it right onto the copper ground wire, and off I go. I've had some really good success with this type of antenna. Right now, one of my favorite things to use are coils. I have both the Silver Bullet 1000 coil from Wolf River Coils and also the Slidewinder DX coil from M1 ECC antennas in the UK. These things are great and uh, they fit right on that copper ground wire and the mount that I use for the ham sticks because they also have the uh, 3 8 inch threaded connection. With this, I use a collapsible man pack foldable whip that uh that that screws right on you can also use other types of antennas there's other telescopic whips and uh, other things that you can screw into this thing but these things are amazing and easy to travel with lastly there's magnetic loops i don't really want to say anything bad about these because i have worked some transatlantic dx with these things but the problem with it is it takes a lot of skill set and tuning and an ear and uh, hey if you're into mag loops take it to the beach they, they work but um if you're new to mag loops you might get a little frustrated well there you go some uh quick and easy vertical antennas i say quick and easy it's a little bit of effort to build these but uh a lot less than something like a phased array or a vertical mox and then those are antennas i want to build on the beach myself but if you're traveling want something that i think you could uh, pack in a bag and build at a pretty economical price i think these are a good place to start if you're really just starting out going portable on the beach Hey, like I said at the beginning of the video, um, summer's coming here on the Northern Hemisphere and Solar Cycle 25 is taking off, so now's the time to go portable. Get out there and do it. I want to hear you on the beach. Let's do a beach to beach contact. I, I'm all about that. Anyway, hey, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Until next time, I'm Walt K4OGO. 73, my friends.